Hello everybody, Blue Dwarf here, and welcome to another episode of FTB Interactions. Now, uh, in between episodes, I uh, found a few more veins. I found redstone and ruby, some more tin, some more tin, some coal, the copper and topaz, which I uh, said last time, lapis and tanzin is this something. And I also found an iron and gold vein. Um, so... In between episodes, I mined up a few of those ores, got a bunch of copper, some gold, a bunch of iron, and even a bunch of tin as well. So we're going to take some of these ores. Um, also, I already had the iron in my inventory. Now, we're going to be melting some of this up um, into, well, into liquid first, and then we'll be uh, putting it into the basin um, to get some ingots out of that. Now, something that we want to work towards is the multi-block oven, which requires the seared furnace controller. Now, if we go in here, one of our books should be... Uh, I think... So, what we do is we get our chisel, and we stick any book in there, and we can get the materials new book out of there. I think that's where it will be. Uh, seared furnace. Right, so the seared furnace. The seared furnace is a master to all furnaces, cooking quarter stacks at once and cooking food with greater speed. The seared furnace can be any size from 3x3 to 11x11 with any height from a minimum of 3. Um, larger structures increase the amount of items that can smelt at once. In order to be valid, structures um, and valid structure, it requires a floor ceiling and along with a frame around the sides. Frame around the ceiling and floor are optional. Okay. Um, sure. Uh, the structure can be made using seared blocks of any kind with a single color, uh, controller. At least one ta uh, fuel tank uh, must be present, placed at an outer edge of the structure. Uh, right. So... Um, yeah, uh, the ceiling can be swapped out for slabs or stairs, but otherwise supports the same blocks as the rest of the structure. Okay, so this is a seared furnace. That's what it's called. Okay, so ooh, am I upside down now? There we go. So you, can, you build it around like this. Okay, so this is like, uh, this is minimum size one. Okay, so we're going to need to make one of those for making proper progression with uh, this stuff. Um, just going to grab some sticks a second. Um, because something that we want to do is make one of these hammers. Because uh, if we go to the metallurgy tab, says that breaking an ore with a Greg Tack hammer crushes the out uh, uh, crushes the output drop. Um, but also so we didn't get find any ruby ore, um, but what would lead on from that is the iron hammer. And this uh, you can use uh, Greg Tack hammers to smash ores into crushed ores um, in world instead of mining normally. Doing this has an innate chance to double ores like a macerator and can even triple or more with fortune enchantment. Once you have crushed ores, you can further process them into impure ores with your uh, in your inventory with the hammer, and finally wash them in a cauldron a stack at a time. Um, so we'll be wanting to do that. So we've got one block of iron in here now. Um, so we'll be able to make an iron hammer. Um, because I think that was also one of the equipment quests. Yes, make an iron hammer. Um, and then we just need to wait for this iron, because it takes ages. Stick some cop copper going in, the, in there next, because I'm sure we'll be needing that. Um, there we go. One piece of one iron block. How oh, can we not turn this? We can't turn it into ingots. How on earth are we meant to get iron then? 
That's weird. Can we make one of these hammers out of like stone or something? Let's try out. So if we grab some cobble. Let's see. No. Maybe we're supposed to start somewhere else first. Um, so we need an ingot cast to get ingots. And this is the only way of getting it. We make molten brass. Uh, or can we get molten gold? Ah, okay. Um, so we need to create a table. We need to put some gold in here. Two gold. Um, and then we can turn that into a blank cast. So we need to grab some porcelain clay. Um, put some clay and bone meal. Which we have somewhere around here. Yeah, there it is. And we create seven porcelain clay. Do we create this into the thing first? No, I think we we turn these into porcelain bricks and then we turn them into the casting table. So that's actually one thing I haven't moved over. I haven't put any uh, clay kilns in here. Um, so I'm going to set those up and fire up our porcelain clay and I'm going to be right back. So I've put in eight clay kilns and a place for burning items um, because there's like, like for the bone meal, um, where is it? Anyway, um, there is like a, yeah, black and bone meal. Um, oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, we can use our seven porcelain bricks to create a casting table, and we can. We've made another porcelain faucet, and we can grab a chisel out of here, and we've now got our blank cast, and we can make a ingot cast out of that now, um, which is why we can then chuck some iron in here. And we will be able to cast some iron ingots, albeit at a very slow rate, which is one of the main reasons why we want to get to our, what's it called? Our multi block oven, our SID furnace controller. Um, so we still have some grout and we'll, some SID stone, and we'll be making some more of that. Um, but for making our copper plates, what we need to do is take the hammer, double ingot. So we'll need a few ingots of copper for that, um, which is why we'll be. Uh, with I had to cast out the uh, copper to get the gold um, to smelt, um, but we will um, be able to uh, fill that up and get uh, make use of that now. Um, we need three more. Uh, iron ingots uh, to make a hammer then we will be able to make some of these copper plates and get on to making a seared furnace so I'm just going to uh, sit here and smelt some of these items up and I'll be back in just a second so all of that metal has finished smelting up and I can now make a hammer and then use two ingots of copper to make a double copper ingot and that gets us a double copper plate now we need two of these, and I quickly put some lava in here already, and we can make a seared furnace controller. Um, we also need to have a tank for this, so I've got one of those. Um, and as we saw from the book, this needs to go on the corner because of the way this is laid out. And then we can have that one there, and then the final block. And we have an absolutely huge seared furnace, um, which we can see through. <laughs> uh, but we uh, need to put some uh, some fuel in this. Um, so what we're going to do for that is just do what I've been doing for this guy. 
and grab our Philosopher's Stone and our Mitt. Uh, put that guy in there. Um, and we need to grab a block of obsidian. So we grab a block of obsidian, transmute it into lava, pick it up with the bucket, and chuck it into there. That does use up the clay bucket and uh, durability on the mitt, but it means we don't get hurt. And we can now use this. So this can't smell ores directly, but what we can do with the iron hammer is if we lay out some of these ores. Obviously, we can do this whilst we're actually mining as well. So we can get crushed ores, which there is a chance of getting multiple uh, per one, and then we get impure piles, and then we. I think it said about, uh, that. Can we chuck these in here? And then we can chuck those in there. Um, it said something about. Uh, where is it? Alright, break an ore with a uh, drop. Uh, once you've crushed ores, you can further press them into impure ores if you have it in your inventory, and finally wash them in a cauldron a stack at a time. Now, so to make a cauldron. That's completely wrong. I can't spell. How do you spell cauldron? <laughs> uh. That's why I was right, uh, right, closer to being right the first time. Right, cauldron. Um, so we take our hammer and raw iron plates. That's a lot of iron that we're going to need. Um, but now that this is well, it's about to finish melting up. That will give us seven iron ingots. So that's much easier for uh, getting us out the ores that we need. Really should have done that before we went mining because then we can just use this thing for mining because it's got us so much more durability than the basic pickaxes. But I got an iron pickaxe from a, uh, uh, what's it called? A mob drop um, just whilst I was uh, building this out. There was some mobs there. So I, yeah, got that now. Um, so yeah, what we can do uh, next is we need to crush tin and copper, um, that will complete that quest, there we go, uh, that's our quest complete, then impure pile, so this is just what we were doing with the, um, with the iron a second ago, might as well do it for the tin as well and it also wants to make wants us to make something called a squeezer so another way to break ores into their uh, pure variants that skips washing and occasional efficiency gains please do not jump on this like a fool for, for hours it can be automated with the sticky piston slime blocks and some basic vanilla redstone so I actually um, was looking at a forum page for this and I it looks like there's a pretty pretty cool way of automating uh, these guys um, so was it on, just on here so we need uh, to grab some planks and we have our squeezer we can also grab some redstone and some minus stew from that which we'll just promptly stick away in there for the moment um, and then it wants us to get all of our different pure dusts so we can just uh, get these we can get these from the squeezer right um, so what does it take to make a piston sticky piston but piston okay so that's just regular, regular old west recipe um, grab some cobblestone out of here and some planks acacia just because it's what we have the most of and that's got ourselves a piston then uh, we can grab some rice rice and stick that in there do we need water to make oh we need water water for that um, I'm just gonna get rid of that uh, then and grab an ice block out of here with a bucket but, okay, didn't think that was going to happen. Um, pick up that torch. 
Now we can make a rice slime ball. Um, I don't think we have any. So if we slime, um, slime block. How how on earth do we get slime blocks then? Slime block. Is there a way we can use this to get slime balls? Uh, am I being completely blind or... Um, okay so so we need to uh we can use this to make it into a sticky piston but i'm going to need to go out and uh kill some slimes uh to uh get any actual regular slime so i'm gonna have to venture out um i think that like, there was some slimes around here actually um but yeah. Anyway, we'll try and get some of those slimes um, between the episodes because I'm not going out now and hunting slimes. But if we place our squeezer down and place some copper ore into it, um, we can jump on this to squeeze it down. And then we can just use a lever to reset it. And it wanted a piece of tin. Crush this. And that's our quest complete. We need to now make bronze dust, which needs some more copper. Really glad that I don't have to spend ages on this because, um, yes, yeah, so this is not exactly uh, the most fun thing to do, just jumping up and down all day. Um, so we then take three copper and uh, tin dust and we make bronze dust. There we go. We've already got some copper ingots from melting stuff up. And we can make alchemical brass. So um, I think this is how we're supposed to make it is that um, maybe that's something we get onto in a bit. Right, bronze. You can technically skip this quest line, but uh, by smelting other copper sources such as uh, malachite directly into ingots and then mortaring that into pure dust. This is why I hate designing quests. Okay. Can we stick our bronze dust in here and smelt that up now? Okay. So, that's that quest line. We've completed getting our seared furnace, which we get some lava cells for, which apparently uh, don't burn us, which is cool. Um, and we'll be moving on uh, very soon to our next stage in progression. So, as you can see, I am surrounded by slimes. Um, which I'm just trying to uh, get most of. Um, so something that uh, it says about up here is slimes um, can spawn additional slimes when hit. Make sure to take big hits. So these guys just uh, oh, I I just need I need to grab. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> This makes make I can't even open my crafting table because there are so many slimes. Just, just harm harm half of them at the same time. Just don't even have to move. They'll just. <laughs> Have I even killed any of them yet? Oh, 
But I'm hoping that I can get enough slime from these guys to make a few blocks um, so that we can automate the squeezer. Um, so I'll be back when I've actually killed these guys. We've got one slime ball already, so it won't be too long. So I've killed all the slimes, and we've now got a bunch of slime, uh, thanks to that. Um, you I think uh, it was actually the uh, guys that spawned by using these entrails. Um, I can't show them, they're quite uh, nasty, uh, so I'm not going to show it right now. Um, but we can use these to set up our... that was a weird look. Um, uh, automatic, um, what's it called? Oh, automatic, uh, oh, yeah, squeezer. Um, so we place a squeezer on top of the redstone clock that we got in a quest. Um, and huh. That doesn't seem to be working the way it looked like. Huh. Right. So. Okay, so that's not the way that that doesn't work. Hmm. Right, so I was using the wrong type of slime blocks, but I've changed those out now, so that's fine. And that was just a little bit more slime blocks. Um, and we can stick a piece of... Ooh. why didn't that work? There we go. So apparently it jumps up and down a little bit anyway, but that uh, works just fine and it sticks it into this chest, so we can stick uh, one of our whoppers, the wooden hoppers, um, stick some ore in there, turn this thing on, and it will produce us a bunch of dust from our ores and we can literally just grab all of all of our th uh, dust, all of our ores even and uh, just chuck them uh, straight in here and uh, we'll get an absolute bunch of useful materials. So that is all we've got time for today guys um, but we've made a lot of good progress we've got our ore processing uh, all sorted out with uh, this uh, little doohickey right here um, and we've just stuck a bunch of those dusts already into our seared furnace and that will be getting our, us a bunch of nice ingots that we'll be able to go on and make some cool stuff with. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.